books and playing games when there's sunny weather. La, 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 la. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. La, 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 la. Every day just has a way of feeling extra lucky. La, 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 la. When you spend it with a friend, just like Bjorn and Bucky. Just like Bjorn and Bucky! How to cure a tree. Just a polar bear on a stroll. Bucky! Bucky, hey! You in there? We're going to the river, right? Have those wires always been there? Where are you? Come on, Bucky! I'm sorry, Bjorn. I can't go today. Where are you? What do you think you're doing? Stop that this instant! I mean it! Bucky! Ouchie, McPain Pain, why are you screaming? You huh? totally made me mm. hurt myself. You say huh? you're hurt, huh? Ugh. What about the tree? What? The apple tree? Like, what about it? It's only a tree, right? A tree is a living thing. It feels pain too, you know. Why are you torturing it? Me? Torturing? How? There's been no torture. I'm setting up the internet, dude. Can you just imagine the entire world at our fingertips? All the latest information in the entire world. And it's mine for the browsing. Uh, you're hurting the tree for the sake of internet, huh? What happens if the tree dies? This is only a tree, Bjorn. We have a forest full of them, see? What's your problem? Just watch. When I am through, I'll show you the whole wide world. You'll be able to see what our forest looks like from space. I don't want to see a tree suffer like this. Not even from space. You've hurt the poor thing. And now it feels bad. Bjorn, you are one odd bear. I'm attempting to drag you into the current millennium. All that you seem to be concerned with are some silly trees. I'm not interested in the kind of progress that causes any trees to suffer. You can do your interneting without me. Why was Bjorn that upset? I've just made this forest so much cooler. By far. It's really working. I'm a genius. They should call me Al. To Einstein. Home sweet home. Whoa! Bjorn sweet Bjorn! What's he doing? Poor thing. Hello, Bjorn. Are you alright? Are you still mad at me? I'm not mad, Bucky. Just... But you have a growl well, face. I'm worried about this poor apple tree. I've given it a lot of water, but it's still not looking any better. So why not just. Find the right way to fix the tree. You're an expert on branches and leaves and dirt and all that stuff. Bjorn, I'll help in any way that I can. Just let me know what to do. I'm pretty darn good at everything. Listen, you don't understand. The apple tree is a living thing. It can't just be repaired. It needs to be treated so that it can heal. But I don't know what to do. So... You need to heal a tree, but you're not certain how. When there's something that you need to learn, you just have to ask. And you know where you can find out the answer to pretty much any question? Wait for it. On the internet. There, it's really easy, see? Eureka! <laughs> Ladder time! Yeah! Get these out of your way. Ooh. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Catch! Nailed oh, it! Oh, yeah! Incoming! Looking good! All right! Nice work! Thanks! It looks so much better than before, right? It will heal in no time! What a relief! What did I tell you, Bjorn? What would we have done if we hadn't had the internet? You must see now, it's wonderful. The way that scientific progress can improve our lives. <laughs> <laughs>
You're right. But from now on, can we progress without causing harm to the living things around us? Like trees or flowers or ferns. Let's just not harm nature at all, ever, period. Or else we won't have anything nice to look at from space. You look very handsome from space, by the way. Harvest Hero! Okay, this is incredibly important. Hi, finance here. And here, 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 here. Now I'll rock the world by planting strawberries! Oh yeah, I'm cool. Who's the best? I'm the best. Bucky, <laughs> are you in there? Come on, it's a beautiful day out here. I'm coming. Oh, I'm just so busy. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in three days now. We have so much stuff to do. You know it. That's why I don't have time for this. Dude, I have more work than I can handle. It never ever stops and my back kind of hurts a little. Huh? I've got pumpkins to double click. My strawberries all need de-weedification. Oh, come inside and I can show you my amazing farm. <laughs> Harvest Hero, level 26, watch and learn. Mm, tools, shovel, go, beats. Yes, winning! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Yes! Harvest! Harvest! Isn't that just the greatest? Uh -huh. But it's just not... Well, none of it's real. It's way better than real life. When you hit level five, you get farmer armor. Then no matter what they stack up against you, you can handle it. Mm. <sighs> it's intense uh. having all this responsibility. I don't have time for all this nonsense. Uh. My cauliflower is calling! Level 27, look out. Strawberry de-weedification. Pumpkins aren't supposed to be clicked. Pumpkins are supposed to be picked, which Bucky used to know. Hmm? Hey, wait a minute. Ah, I have a plan. The very newest game, you say? Uh-huh, it just came out today. It's what they call a virtual reality game. What does that mean? It means that the game plays and looks like you're really inside of it. The entire game feels Whoa. super real. <laughs> and is so virtual, like, like you can actually eat the strawberries. Huh? Dude, I've got to try this. Why am I not playing it? Come on, where am I going to get to play? The waiting is too much. Put this on. Virtual eyeball interface. Finger sockets. Oh yeah, this is wicked. This is the Game Gear? Of course it is. And now you can turn around. Whoa. It's just, I can't believe this is a video game. The graphics are awesome. Let me play. How do you work it? Where's the controller? Forget <laughs> about controllers. You've got goggles for a screen. It's got built-in controllers and they're called your hands. You walk toward an object and just try and interact with it. Just like reality. The virtual baskets are right over there. It had a real taste, a yummy one. This game is fantastic. All right, let's do this. Come on, game, let's see if you can keep up with me. <laughs> yeah! wanted to sit home double-clicking all day. Well, who knew you had such an awesome game? Though I wish the reality of my achy sore back was only virtual. Maybe if you keep coming outside and playing my game, you'll master it. And then it won't hurt so much. Thank you so much, Bjorn. Good times. 
Don't forget to hit save. I don't want to lose my progress. I'm going inside to get a little... <gasps> high quality time in standby mode. That's gamer talk for a nap. An actual real nap in my real bed. Old-fashioned food. The master chef at work. His ancient secret recipe is a nutritious roadmap to Yummy Town. Oh, here already? Bwong, 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 bwong. Hi there, come on in. Hey. <clears throat> Am I early, Bjorn? Not at all, Buck. It's almost ready. What did you make? Well, pie? Well, it isn't pie, no. Then what? Cake? Not cake, no sir. Wait and see. Is it cupcakes then? It's not cupcakes. It's ice cream. Wrong again. Well then what? Are we even really going to have something? Behold! Smells so good, right? This is our ancient northern recipe. What's this stuff? Soup? <laughs> yeah. Wise bears teach us to eat lots of food that's nutritious before the start of winter. And this soup has lots of yummy things. Mushrooms, cabbage, and carrots. Just stop! You said this wouldn't be some old dull lunch. You promised a feast. This is a feast where I'm from. We call it Grand Poobah Chowder. I opened a can of really special spongy mushrooms for it. Thanks a lot, Bjorn. But soup doesn't sound that good to me. I'd rather just stick with my um, 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 yummy chips here. I'm not that hungry. If you're not really hungry, why do you keep eating all those chips then? They're bad for you. Remember, when summer's over, there won't be anything like this soup. <laughs> I sleep all winter long, so summer's never over for me. And these chips just couldn't be bad. They're so great. <laughs> and no cooking required. But the way we did it, Back up north. Up north we did this and we did that. Your ways are so old fashioned up north with your fungus weed soup or whatever. But this is modern food. It was made in a factory with machines and smart technology. Well, if you don't like the kind of food that I make, then the next time you can cook. Come on, Bjorn. Don't be upset. Hey, listen, I'll make something that's delicious for you. So good your taste buds will explode. Genius time. I'll invent a recipe that's totally new. It'll be fantastic. Behold. Nah, not good enough yet. What else could I use? Ha! Ah, gotta use gummy bears. <laughs> nice. Looks so yummy. Oh, I love hot dogs too. Ooh, and meringue. Chocolate, of course. Burgers. Wait, wiener burgers. Gingerbread. Cookies, yeah. Now, lots of mayonnaise on top, ice cream, and cupcakes! It's so beautiful! Super McDuper! Now that is what I call a real feast! I better get Bjorn over here before the ice cream melts! <laughs> Bjorn, you are going to flip! Prepare yourself! You are about to be truly amazed! Oh, wow! Cool sculpture, Bucky! It isn't a sculpture at all. It's a super McDuper dish that I invented. It sure is taller than your regular food. It had to be big enough to fit all the flavor. Now then, board the train to Yummy Town. Eat that stuff? You really serious? Trust me, you're going to be begging for seconds, thirds, tenths. Oh, no. Disgusting. What? Disgusting? Impossible. Gross, right? You don't look so good, Buck. You all right over there? I'm just fine. I've never had yummier food. It's really nutritious as well. Bucky? Junk food avalanche! Bucky, run! No! My beautiful recipe! Lost, gone forever, the food manatee. Why? And I just realized I'm starving. It's all right, Bucky. We'll clean the whole mess up. And when we're done, you can reconstruct your dish. Your modern and high-tech, disgusting, horrible, awful dish. Uh, Bjorn, know what? 
Let's head to your house. You've got some soup left over there still, right? Make yourself right at home. Ah, mm, there. <laughs> Try not to lick the paint off the bowl. Yeah, Grand Poobah Chowder. <laughs> they should call it Bucky's Bottomless Belly Bisque. That is literally your 10th helping. Can I have 11th? <laughs> Please, 